Hello everyone, I am Quietly Gaming, and we are going to be continuing with our MSQ playthrough of A Realm Reborn. Uh, we are here in Little Alam uh, Alamigo, and uh, we are kind of figuring out what's going on, because the, the youngins, as they say, are up to something no good. So let's figure out what's going on here. Hey, adventurer, you done talking with the old bear? I got a message for you from Wilfred. Wilfred. Lad's something of a leader among the young ones. He's impressed that you won over Gundabald and wants a word with you. Says he'll be waiting over at the craggy area north of here. <sighs> Hi, Wilfred. I'm Quietly. You call? Thanks for coming, friend. Tis no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to see you, to discuss something in private. Okay. You have my attention. Sir, tell me, why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you, or someone else? Myself. I sent myself. Girl got your tongue, hmm? No matter. Whoever it is you work for, your meddling ends here. Get her! Oh. you foil our plan you're stronger than you look this changes nothing threaten us beat us bloody all you like but nothing short of death can make us give up our fight we're going to obtain the power to bring down the empire and with it we'll reclaim our homelands that's not good little bro is Gonna attempt to raise the big bats. Hi, I've got some bad news. Asked by Wilfred and his cronies that they would go to such lengths for the sake of this plan of theirs. But left to their own devices, the young fools are like to harm them others, if not themselves. You must uncover their agenda and put an end to this madness. Yeah. I kind of was afraid you'd say that. That's actually a really big boost. Uh, this one it is. Wilfred mentioned obtaining the power to bring down the Empire. Of what power could he be speaking? Gundabolt, I... I'm Bertlana. I to preserve what happened. I was out foraging when the corpse of Brigade came. When the corpse brigade, corpse brigade came. They took, they took me to their hideout. And they, they, the whole while they laughed at me. They said that that I suffer be because I cling to hope. Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Almigans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong. I swear to you those villains will answer to their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Wilred, he saw me outside. He was so angry. I must tend to Bertlana. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear that they may do something rash. Sure. I've got my green tights on now, so they're sure to trust me.
map. Oh, I'm supposed to find five things? Oh, five clues? Ain't no way, right? Five clues? So there's one down there. There's the last. Wilrid. Hi. Might as well start with him, right? So, remember me? Oh, mighty Railgar, Lord of Destruction, we implore you. Lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Huh. Here to interfere again. Well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. Once we have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes, and no one will dare oppress us ever again. Oh, you stupid, stupid fool. If this plan succeeds, we'll have the power to lay the Empire low, to change the world for the better. My be the Gundabald's contents to eke out an existence in this musty old cave, but I'll be damned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. Now, where in the Seven's Hell did I put that bloody map? I have. Okay. Hi, Ryle the Lass. Good evening. What those animals did to Berlant Lynn Berlana is unforgivable and to think they look down on us Well, I'll suffer this humiliation no more. I'm with Wilfred to the bitter end. I'm not afraid of a few lizards Hunting knife All over the clues to Gunnabold well, I hate to say it, break it to you, Gunnamold, but your friends, they try to raise a primal from, you know, the awaken a primal. And I don't think it's going to work the way they hope they did. They hope because, you know, they're going to get tempered. And then, you know, after that, they're going to have to you know, con the whole lot of them. Then it is as I feared. They mean to take matters into their own hands. But what exactly is it that they mean to do? Well, what's this? A hunting knife and a map of Zan... Zanrak. Wait, you said Wilfred spoke of crystals, did you not? But they couldn't possibly mean to... Pods, this is a rank... This is rank madness. The young fools are untrained and unblooded all. They have no notion of how dangerous the Al uh, Almaja are. They'll be butchered before they get within a hundred yalms of the crystals. They are headed east. If we hurry, we may yet find them before it's too late. Alright. Say so, dude. They seem pretty determined, you know what I mean? Like... I doubt you're going to be able to talk them out of anything. I think they're gonna try and like summon a primal. All that doom and destruction that comes with it. Uh, maybe that's just like a me thought. Hmm. That doesn't look good. Well. <laughs> Friend. How did this go for you? Do you want to talk about it? No? Understandable. Wilred, did no other survive? This is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim their- our homeland. We were- we- 
Pull yourself together, lad. We were going to make an offering of the crystals to Ralgar to summon him, just like the masked man put us. We plotted to sneak into Zanrak and make off with the lizard man's cash, but but they caught us in in so many dead. Let's forgive me. Heathens, you shall pay for your crimes with your souls. I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a price for young folly, youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of the Alamegan people. This hope I will guard with my life. Oh, did we not protect them? Oops. Bam. Your skill at arms is impressive, adventurer. Our wayward youth could learn from uh, much from a woman like you. The battle is won, but it would be unwise to linger. 
Let us return to little Alamigo. Oh, oh, wait. We've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there. Right for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Wilred? Did you not see those tempered wrenches? Wretches. Such is the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? Well, no, no one said anything about... The masked man told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Ralgar. He swore. Enough. I will hear the rest of this, this sorry tale back in Little Alamigo. I dare so quietly will wish to hear it as well. Dumb. Dumb and young and knave. We can't blame you, friend, because you know you're young. But god damn. Imagine. Imagine if we hadn't been here. You would have been eaten by the emulsion. I, I'm ready to hear what he has to say. No more lies, Wilred. Tell us everything. I was outside with the others when he appeared, the masked stranger. He told us about summoning Ralgar about using crystals and then just vanished. We never saw him again. He wanted, I wanted so desperately to believe that we could rise oursel raise ourselves from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives, but I should have known. There's no solution, nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen to me, Wilred. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on within us all. It is for you to decide what to make of this legacy, but whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I... I won't, I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. Alright. Thought it was the right thing to do. My thanks as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may not have much in way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Temporary loss and motor effect. This one, I think. I think we're gonna go with this one. Someone wants to wish you well on your investigation. Would that we had more information to offer. But what Wilfred told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you'll find and put a swift end to that creature. For the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned words. Well, you can certainly try. Report back to Menophilia. Say no more. Welcome back, Wiley. I reliably I'm reliably informed the investigation took you to Quarry Mill and Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of La Habrea? Well, Happened. Planted the knowledge of summoning in impressionable youth young minds, you say. Precisely the kind of deception the Asians would employ. While many of the ills that ail the land can be attributed to the calamity, some are being brought about by the malign will. By a malign will. We must needs delve deeper into this while things remain quiet on the primal front all work and no play makes menphilia a dull scion huh did you say something N nothing my lady ahem 
Mayhaps we ought to rest a while before speaking further on the of the investigation. Light bolts. Light. While you were tending to business in Thanalon, some new information arrived courtesy of our friend the Silt. An individual fitting La Habrea's description has been sighted in the Northern Shroud. This sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the self-same area. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Well, willing, we will pick up La Habrea's trail once more. Noraxia can furnish you with the details. Pray speak to her and take it from there. As always, be careful out there, quietly. Where's the little sylph? Where's our little sylph friend? I'm ready. Noraxia! I like that they've made friends. Walk one is investigating sinister one, then head well heed well to one's words. This one is friends with Walking One in the Ashen Crown Consortium. According to friendly ones, a digging one named Medroid had an encounter with a scary masked one. This masked one is most certainly a sinister one. Walking one should go and speak the digging one, Medroid. Digging one is to be found in Fall Gourd Float in the Northern Shroud. All right. Digging one, huh? digging one B -b please leave me be i'm not long for this world i i looked death in the face it's only a matter of time before he comes for me just like he came for that poor woman medward is clearly traumatized perhaps if you soothe him he might remain calm for long enough to uh convert can i click on you please uh, right. Soothe. Okay. Soothe. I'm down, friend. Yeah, you're right. It's not as bad as it seems. I saw something terrible, that's true. But that hardly means I'm going to suffer the same fate. Thanks to you, I can think straight again. I believe I can even recount what I saw without losing it. It was just another ordinary day. I was headed back from the float when I noticed a suspicious character in the distance. A masked man garbed head to toe in black. He had a hideous fe he had a hideous fiend in tow, a winged creature that was all eyeball and jagged teeth. Taken by curiosity, I crept as near as I dared. And to see the corpse of a woman, one glimpse was enough to tell me that she died a gruesome death. In that instance, I knew right away that the masked man was a, mi a minion of Thal, come to claim her soul for his realm. I think you're um, overdoing it. What? You're investigating the same masked man. If that's the case, we'll help in whatever way we can. Aye, anything to ensure that we won't be suffering Medroid's hysterias ever again. All right, teamwork. That's what I wanted to- Wait, I haven't been that bad, have I? At any rate, I'm all for helping this adventure. It's the least I can do to repay her for comforting me. Yeah. It's the least you could do. So here's what I know about the deaths. All the victims were found with their faces torn to shreds. Among the local fauna, only the scale kin known as the Ziz 
can inflict such wounds. That's why some folks are pointing fingers at them. I somehow doubt that the answer is that simple, but for the sake of thoroughness, we should look into it. Why don't you put down, say, three of the creatures and see if we can find any proof connecting them to the deaths? All right. So I'm going out, kill some things. Fantastic. You've already seen this uh, scene to the Ziz. Good work, adventurer. So, were you able to find aught to suggest that the creatures were our culprits? No, that kind of just rolled over. Nothing. Truth be told, even if there were proof, I wouldn't know what it looked like. Anyway, I believe we can safely strike Ziz from our list of suspects, which leaves us with the masked man and his winged eyeball. Thanks. Uh, there's something you should know. I have been keen... Uh, I've been keeping this to myself, lest I worsen Metroid's paranoia, but I too have seen the winged eyeball. I cannot say whether it was a coincidence, but my sighting took place precisely the same time as Medroid's. I was heading home after a day of digging when I when a shadow fell over me. Looking up, I found myself locked in gaze with a giant eyeball. I let out a scream at the top of my lungs and ran without once looking back. This happened at the rocky area west of here, in case you had a mind to investigate. There's something else I heard about the death. It appears all the victims have been common, um, com comely maids. I'd better watch myself, eh? Ahem. Unseemingly japes aside, there's a rumor been going around. There's some whispers that after each victim died, her rancor went into a great big rock southwest of here, causing it to flash and moan. These bears, this bear's investigating, I reckon. I'm going to give you a fire sand stick to blow off a piece of that crag. The stick doesn't come with the fuse or anything, so you'll have to throw the thing. And once you've torn a rock, you've torn the rock a new one, bring back some of the fragments and I'll give them a gander. Hi. Most folks are too scared to go within a hundred gnomes of the Rock of Rancor. Aye, uh -huh, it has a name. But what's a few vengeful spirits to the dauntless adventurer like you, eh? Yes. Hmm. Why these are just your average garden variety crystals? It's a bit hard to tell beneath all the dirt and grime, but they're definitely lightning expected. I almost hate to say it, but that explains the flashing and moaning. Nothing to do with the masked stranger. Looks like I've gone and wasted both our times and a perfectly good firestone fire stand stick. Monstrous bale mine here, and you slew it. That creature had long been a scorn upon the folks of Falgord. International or no, you have done us intentional or no, you have done us a great service. You have my gratitude. But this does seem does make me wonder, was it truly a winged eyeball I saw? Or merely a trick of the light combined with combined with blind panic? I don't know. There's been no promising leads to the murders. I can scarce get a wink of sleep knowing that that killer is still at large. Judging by your furrowed brows, I take it this sorry business troubles you as much as it does me. I had been pondering my encounter. I was uncertain for a time, but there can be no doubt. It was a winged eyeball that I witnessed. It's implausible that I could have mistaken so distinct a creature for a bale might. But you and I were moms apart. How could we have seen both seen it at precisely the same time? 
What's more, our adventurer friend here has a run-in with the Bale Knight at the very spot you claim to see the fiendish eyeball. Is that right? There must be an explanation. I know I saw an eyeball with wings, but wager an apple tart on it. Oh, he's serious. But listen, mayhaps it's not as mysterious as we're making it out to be. There's no reason why there couldn't be... But of course, there must be more than one of the buggers. It's so obvious, but then that means since there have been repeated sightings of these fiends, then there must have been more victims as yet undiscovered. I do believe we're out of our depth. We ought to leave the rest to the expert. E yes, we're just citizens after all. Luck adventure. It was a pleasure knowing you. While I burn to know the truth, some things are left unknown are best left unknown. Lest you have forgotten, it was at the rocky area to the west that I had my encounter. Should you discover aught of note, you will want to alert the authorities. There is a guardhouse nearby. The serpents there should be pleased of any information that pertains to the security of the region. Yeah, like, the, uh, what am I gonna do? Walk up to them and be like, hey, you know, I saw this floating eyeball. And it had wings. It had wings. Oh, well, it sounds like out there and all that, but I'm gonna need you to take me seriously. Like, they're not gonna believe that. Fucking... You see... There's this... There's this eyeball. It's got bat wings. Um, but there's not just... There's not just one. There's actually two. Um, that we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to pick up. No big deal. And there, there's absolutely no friggin' way they believe. Right? There's, there's no way. They'll be like, you are insane. Leave me alone. Crazy woman. And that's what would happen. Alright. I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to go down. Or up. We're gonna try going this way. Hi. Uh, this way. Maybe it is down. Ah, it is down. Right. Um... Three. We're gonna go ahead and go on to Bard, because it's our highest level thingamajiggy. <gasps> Mangled corpse. Yo, I was not ready. Hi. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Couldn't say. Alright. Well, we have a corpse now, so they should believe us. Hi. I found an eyeball. Greetings, adventure. There aught, uh, is there aught I might assist you with? Here. Corpse. Casually hands corpse over to person. Gods be good. Not again. No matter how many bodies I see, I cannot seem to get used to the horrid sight. Poor woman. I like how they put a mask on her because her face is supposed to be mangled. I, uh, identical deaths have been reported in the central shroud. 
while the masked stranger you seek does not seem to feature in any. Sightings of the winged eyeballs are common enough. The creatures appear to be moving the bodies, but to what end, none can say. The victims have all been young women. All are found with their faces mutilated beyond recognition. It's been difficult to identify them so as to notify their next of... Hmm? This button, engraved in the lily motif, it's the very same object was found upon another victim, a family sigil, or that of an organization, perhaps. Hmm, this button, oh. Either way, I dare to hope that this find will prove pivotal to solving the murders. You never know. Be useful. Nice. For 50. That's pretty cool. I would have you hold on to the lily button. You will need it to continue your investigation. While it isn't standard procedure to entrust key evidence to individuals, you have proven yourself reliable and the resourceful in this matter. I see no reason why you shouldn't carry on your work. If I might have a suggestion, you may wish to take the button to Gridania and have it examined by Maureen. M Mione. Perhaps someone in her vast network of contacts can shed light on its sigil. Here we can go to Gridania. I like Gridania. I like Mione. She was my main, my main woman. He was the main hoe, you know? <laughs> God, kill me now. Shouldn't be allowed to record things. Hey, yo, me, yo, me. Good morrow to you quietly. By your grim expression, I suspect you aren't here for scones and herbal tea. I've got this thing. Well, this? Isn't this a lovely little button? The engraving is quite exquisite. Artisan level quality, I would say. Well, where did you say you found this? On a dead body? Lovely. Anyways, I'm afraid I do not recognize the lily sigil. You will have to find the answer the old-fashioned way by asking around. You could do worse than the beginning at Bar, uh, Bern Bernadette over by the uh, Archer Tree, uh, Aetherite, Aetherite Plaza. She has a sharp pair of eyes, that one. Okay. I'm assuming that's her right there. Bernadette? Hi. Need help tracking down the owner of a button? That's certainly not a request I receive on a regular basis. Well, go on then. Show me what you have. Hmm, seems to be some manner of decorative button. Reminiscent of those worn by the families of old, though I cannot claim to know its sigil. However, I can say for with certainty that the white lily is a reoccurring theme in Gridanian culture. Alas, I do not know who would make a personal sigil of it. If there is a soul in Gridania who does, it would it would be uh, Sengold over by the Lancers Guild. And the woman makes a point of knowing all the citizens on the forename basis. Okay. Uh, wrong one. Mm -hmm. Hello, in gold. Brennan believes that I can help you. Well, that's a rather bold assumption to make. I will try to assist. Never you fear, but whether aught comes of it is another matter. And now, then, what do you require of me? Fascinating. Work of this quality is rarely seen in the hands of ordinary Gridanians. 
The owner of this button is most certainly well to do. You may wish to take your search to Gentry's Ward, northwest of here. Wait, a memory comes to me. Of late, there's been a man who is uh, perpetually seated at the bench in the ward's entrance. His name is Ursindel, Urs uh, and I distinctly recall seeing a markedly similar button upon the breast of his jacket. I dare say he can tell you a thing or two about it. Okay. Good evening, sir. I'm just casually going to stroll on over and say hello. Um, do you know this butt? Hi. Do you know this button? I don't believe we are acquainted. Pray leave me to my thoughts. But are you acquainted with this button? The sigil of the Dracorn's family. How, how is it that you came to be in possession of this button? From the body of a murdered woman, her, her face was it marred in any way. I had feared as much. I can no longer frame ignorance. I shall reveal to you the truth of the deaths, but on one condition, you promise to put an end to my lady's madness and free her from her torment. Ooh, I actually know where we're going next. And I'm hyped. I'm pumped. I was once a manservant in the employ of one of the oldest and proudest families in Gridania. The Dart... Dartenkers, or hers. During that time, I had the honor of waiting on Lady Amadine, mistress of the household. Fair as summer was she, and possessed of a heart to befit her radiance. Alas, the calamity wrought a great change to her. Though my lady escaped with her life, death may well have been a kinder fate. Never will I forget the day her badges were uh, bandages were removed. She beheld her disfigured face for the first time. At that moment, the kindly woman I knew ceased to be. Unable to bear the thought of being seen, my lady subsequently uh, uh, sequestered herself within her chambers and refused at all company. This continued for many uneasy moons, until one day, without warning, she began receiving queer guests. None amongst us knew whence they came, these masked men, but my lady believed that they would help her to regain that which she had lost. So began the rites of rejuvenation. These rites seemed innocent enough to begin in the beginning, but grew ever more grotesque as time went by. And even eventually there came a day when my lady bound uh, one of her handmaidens to her bed and and proceeded to mutilate the poor girl's face suffice to say she did not survive the ordeal it fell to me to dispose of her body I performed the dreadful task as uh, as bade obedient servant as I was but when the time came to return to the house my legs refused to move. I knew then that I could not go back to that place, not after the nightmare I had witnessed. So it was that I left Hawk Manor, my home for nigh on half a century. Hawk Manor. History of Hawk Manor. Long did I weep for the girl who was slain, and longer still for the woman that Lady uh, Amadeen had been. Yet, one cannot weep forever, and I endeavored to per uh, put the matter behind me. Indeed, I had resolved never to speak of my experience until you appeared before me. My lady's madness must be ended, lest more innocent lives be lost. 
Lay her tormented soul to rest, for you swore to me you would. She awaits you at the Hawk Manor. At the western edge of the central shroud. Go now. Go and do what must be done. Damn. Damn. Let's go. I'm ready.
Okay. Where are we going after this? Oh, nice. So it takes you back. Okay, so when I played the, when I did this last time, when I did this last time. You had to like resign in order to get back here. <laughs> She's not ugly. She's just a little okay. She's a little demonic. what it used to be like. More cutscenes. Darkness has taken root within these halls. Sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. One cannot help but admire the irresistible spirit that quickened it to life. Oh shit, there's two of them. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, adventurer. You are every bit as intriguing as our master gave us to believe. It is no ordinary mortal who can acquire one crystal of light, much less three. The crystals make you strong, and it is to that strength that the light is drawn. Hydaelyn shows well. A pity that your existence is irrecordable with our own. We cannot well allow you to continue upon your present course. Try me, Funk. Alas, we came here not to play, but to take the measures of your strength for Master Lahabrea. That task now accomplished, we take our leave of you. Well, 
Well, bringer of light. Okay. You return. What sights await you within the manor? What has become of Lady um, Amandolin? You must tell me. Well, I killed her. So she went so far as to consort with devils. Would that I could have done more to prevent her fall. My, may she finally find peace in the beyond. I know not whether the masked men you encountered are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it is plain that they are of the same vile brood, since the chance ever present, uh, should the chance ever present itself, promise me that you will visit upon them tenfold the woe they have brought upon others. But who am I to speak of punishment? For my silence I allowed, I know not how many innocent women to die in unspeakable circumstances. It matters not wherefore, through misplaced loyalty, cowardice, or both, I am a better ton for to a gross crime. I will surrender myself to the authorities and accept whatever punishment they deem just. I only pray that the gods will have mercy on my soul. Menphilia, we coming. Minfilia. Okay, let's see. What's my lowest class now? 50, 42, 45. Still white mage? Or it's still conjure? Not even white mage, guys. It's conjure. And it's so slow to play. Do 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 Welcome back, Wiley. Well glad I am to see you safely returned. Tell me, how fared you and your sergeant uh sojourn in the twelves wood? Two of Lahabre's minions, and they sought to measure your strength by their own admission. The devils taunt us. It is beyond doubt, then. The Asians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I know not, uh, I will not bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless effort, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Alas, you can only do so much. It is clear to me now that we Scions are far uh, too few to protect the realm against this threat unaided. We must needs alert the three nations to the presence of these elusive enemy. I recommend that they heighten their vigil. There is no shortage of misery in the world that the Asians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Yet come that may, we might not allow ourselves to become lost to hope, for that is precisely what the enemy desires. We have gleaned all we can from the information available to us. Let us set this investigation aside for the present. Although matters has arisen that requires your attention, let me know when you are ready to be, to be briefed. I will summon the others. Okay, so we got a coffer. Got a coffer! Okay. Um, we're going to end here for today, folks. And I'm gonna go ahead and go shunk and wave and say thank you so much. I again I am quietly. Um, it is fantastic to be going through the MSQ with you guys. Um, thank you if you're following along with this or any of the other playthroughs that we're doing we are doing all of the other class and jobs and stuff like that and we're going to be doing recaps and other story stuff on my other youtube so please go take a peek at that um i'm very very excited about it but anyway 
I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe and join the Discord if you would like to. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.